What's up everybody? Kyle here at Let's Talk Wax. 2021 Bowman Chrome has been out for a little over a month now and prices have finally had a chance to sell. I've been doing a lot of research and I've found several prospects that I really like who are still extremely cheap. So in this video, I'm going to discuss those six prospects in 2021 Bowman Chrome that you can buy for under $20. Before we get started, if you guys enjoy my content, please subscribe and help me achieve my goal of 500 subscribers. Now for everyone that's prospecting on a budget, let's dig into this thing. First on our list is a 21 year old outfield prospect in the Chicago White Sox organization, Luis Miesis. The six foot three bat first outfielder ranks 22nd in the White Sox organization and played over the course of two levels this year in A and high A. He was able to breeze through low A, hitting 305 with six home runs, a 14.7% strikeout rate, and 225 plate appearances. After his call up to high A, things started to trend downhill a bit. He hit nine more home runs, but dropped his batting average to 236, and his K percentage increased to 20.5. Miesis is not a plus runner, and will most likely end up in a corner outfield position, which will put a bit more pressure on his offensive game. There's not a whole lot of swing and miss in this bat, having recorded four minor league seasons with a K percentage under 20%, which is excellent for a player with 55 grade power. Miesis uses all sides of the field and has ground ball and fly ball rates that are competitive with the league average. In order to put his name on the map, he needs to reach double A and either increase his power output or show he can hit for a bit more average. You can buy Luis Miesis autos right now for around $10. Next on our list is a prospect I talked about in my initial top prospects in 2021 bone chrome video. I was really surprised when I saw his autos were only $20, so I put them in this video too. George Feliz is a recently turned 19-year-old outfield prospect who played in the Dominican Summer League this year in the Seattle Mariners organization. Feliz is currently just under 6 feet tall and had a pretty good rookie season, hitting 277 with 5 home runs, 8 stolen bases, and a 23.5% K rate. He played 36 of his 38 games in center field, which increased his stock as a defender if he can stick. Feliz is a young player with blossoming power, low K rates, that plays a premium position. He will definitely be someone to keep an eye on in 2022. In spot number three, we have a bat first masher in the St. Louis Cardinals organization who climbed two levels all the way to double A this year. Malcolm Nunez is a 5'11", 210-pound third base prospect who hit his way to double A this year as a 20-year-old. Through both levels, he had a 268 batting average with nine home runs, 15 doubles, and 375 plate appearances while maintaining a sub-20% K rate. Nunez only posted a 141 ISOP, but he was also playing nearly four years below the league average in AA. There are two big knocks on Nunez right now, which include a possible move to first base due to lack of defensive abilities and a high ground ball percentage, which is 7% above league average. What I like about Nunez is his growing power and ability to make contact. His highest single season K percentage since 2018 was 21.9. I'm guessing he'll repeat double-A next year, and I'm hoping his power comes alive as he adjusts and gains more experience versus upper-level arms. Malcolm Nunez is a redemption in 2021 Bowman Chrome, and you can find them for about 20 bucks right now. The second White Sox prospect on our list today is Brian Ramos, a 19-year-old infielder with a little bit of juice. Ramos sports a 6-foot, 2-inch frame with above-average speed and raw power. Over the course of his second full season in A-ball, he hit 244 with 13 home runs, 13 stolen bases, a 172 ISO, and a strikeout rate of only 21.8%. Ramos is beginning to grow into some power while maintaining quality K rates. It also seems he may be developing his approach by posting a 10% walk rate this season. Ramos is ranked 10th in the White Sox organization, right behind fellow slugger Jose Rodriguez, who has a similar profile but a lot more juice at the moment. Ramos is an average defender who split time this season between third and second base. If he can continue to refine his approach and get to his natural power next year in high A, he may be more than just a $15 auto. Next, we have Brewers overall number four prospect Jefferson Caro, a catcher who played in the Complex League this year. Caro celebrated his 19th birthday only one month ago, playing his entire rookie season at the age of 18. He only had 83 plate appearances this season, making him the smallest sample size on this list. In those 83 plate appearances, he hit 309 with two home runs, a 191 ISO, and a 12.5% K rate. One of Caro's most coveted offensive abilities is his advanced approach for his age, 
as shown by his 14% walk rate this season. Defensively, he's an athletic catcher with a plus arm who should be able to develop and stick behind the plate. There are two knocks I have right now against Caro. One is his extremely small sample size, and the other is his ground ball percentage. Caro hit ground balls on 52% of his at-bats, which puts him almost 10 points above league average. He's only 5'10 and may never grow into light tower power, but for his age, he has already demonstrated a well above average hit tool, an advanced approach, and the ability to perform defensively at a premium position. Caro's autos are currently selling for around 15 bucks. Finally, our last prospect is Johendrik Penango, a 19-year-old outfielder in the Chicago Cubs organization with an auto right around $20. Penango's advanced feel for contact helped him climb two levels this season all the way to high A as a 19-year-old. He has a smooth swing from the left side and hit 276 this season with five home runs and eight stolen bases while maintaining a low 15.2% K rate. Penango most likely will not develop into a 20-plus home run player, but his hit tool should clear a path for him to advance through the Cubs system. He currently possesses average to above average speed, but will most likely slow down by adding any size to his stocky 5'11 frame. There are some scouts who are skeptical about his ability to stick in center field, but there's a general consensus that his hit tool is above average. That's going to wrap up this video. Be sure to let me know who you guys are chasing in the comments. Also, feel free to check out my Facebook group, Let's Talk Wax Baseball Card Prospecting, where I post daily prospect news and host a few bone breaks every month. I'll put a link in the description. As always, thanks everyone for watching. I appreciate my views. Everybody, take care.